My name is Anne-Marie. I'm an English teacher this year at the primary level. Um, I teach in three different schools out in the countryside and I work for the school board, the Commission Scolaire Bosse Chamay. But now using the ninja team, like having a master and ninjas, I was able to establish the kind of relationship of being respectful, disciplined, um, thoughtful, conscious, mindful also. And I want to bring them to be able to apply these in everyday life, at school, uh, in society. Um, so that's kind of my intention for the project. And as a final task, after having read many stories, uh, many discussions, and um, uh, classwork together, students now have to create a ninja guide where they have to describe what are the qualities of being a good ninja and they have to give examples of what it takes to be a good ninja. So as they work, they realize that, oh, I can apply that in real life. I mean, a ninja is perseverant. A ninja never gives up. A ninja will reflect and think for a solution. A ninja will only fight with an equal one. A ninja, so it was kind of interesting um, and kids actually enjoyed it a lot. I also showed a short um, part of the ninja movie with uh, Will Smith's son and they actually liked it a lot. I started with a brainstorming using Mentimeter of what is a ninja and what are the qualities of a ninja. So first we, I had to explain what is a quality and then using Mentimeter at the computer lab um, we did the word cloud where they gave me example of what was a ninja. After that, I had them discuss in teams uh, with discussion cards. What is a ninja? What do you know about ninjas? Have you watched movies about ninjas? Do you practice martial arts? After that, we had an ed puzzle where they had four different clips of, again, the ninja movies, uh, Karate Kid. So the old ones and the new ones. And uh, I took um, parts and asked questions where it dealt with perseverance, empathy, um, never giving up, things like that. Afterwards, um, we worked on grammar a little bit, of course, so we looked at the weapons and the equipment of a ninja, the suit of a ninja. So we learned word order and adjectives and all those kinds of things. After, um, they had facts. I wrote facts, like true or false facts about ninja. So they had 20 facts that they had to read and then answer questions about that. And after that, they had again discussion questions, but it was like a think pair share. They had each student A, B, C, and D, different um, information about ninjas, and then they had to share them together, take notes and exchange. Once that was done, there was um, activity six or seven, I think it was a problem solving activity where I gave them five different situations that ninjas were in and they had to identify what was the problem, what was the solution given, and what other solutions could be applied. So for example, um, there was one situation where there was a ninja that did not win his combat, his fight, and he wanted to abandon, but his master told him that with practice and perseverance, he can. Um, and then the final process, of course, creating a poster using Poster My Wall with the qualities of a good ninja, and then integrating that poster into ThingLink so they can add tabs and icons to describe and give examples of each quality. When the posters will be ready, there will be an integration part um, we will come back here to the lab and I'll put students in teams of four, like rotating stations. I'll have a time up on the board and for maybe five minutes, they'll have to present their posters to their friends. So I made a little note taking sheet here. So I'm asking them to present their posters, discuss the content of their posters, give the reasons why they chose these quality and talk about the layout. I decided also to include ninja stances throughout the unit. So every time we did a new activity, I had a new ninja stance. So I found a video on YouTube of about more or less 10 ninja stances. So the horse stance, the bow stance, the cat stance. So I would start, that was like my um, kind of activity to get them moving a little bit and get them excited and interested in the activity. So we would all stand up, 
do the stance together. And the following class, when we were at stance number two, we would redo the first one, the second one, and then the third one, fourth one. So by the end of the unit, we saw all the stances. I, I, I do this picture for, um, to do a good, to be a good ninja. And I, I write focused, strong, quiet, and all the qualities a ninja have to have. And I, I do um, a description for the NGM. I write strong because an NGM is strong, but I didn't do a, a button because I didn't find an image. I, I take a video to see that a good NGM never give up. This guy is, is very good because he never give up. He, he is just standing like this very uh, long time. I, I found the image uh, behind uh, really cool, so I, I take it and I, I do my best to.